This meeting to order. Today is October 19th. This is the Public Works Procurement and Contracting Committee. Roll call, please. Calling the roll, Mr. Germana. Here. Mr. Miller. Here. Ms. Conwell. Here. Mr. Greenspan. Here. Ms. Simon. Ms. Simon is absent at the moment. There is a quorum. Okay. Public comment related to the agenda. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. No one has signed in. Okay. Approval of amendments September 21st and October 5th, 2016. I'll move, I'll, go ahead. I'll move we approve the minutes. Okay, is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed nay. Okay, the minutes are approved. Okay, 190, please. Resolution number 2016-0190, authorizing a First Amendment to lease and write a first refusal agreement with the Board of Park Commissioners of the Cleveland Metropolitan Park District for county-owned property on the flats east and west banks, located at 1170 Old River Road, Cleveland, for a term of 99 years. Good morning. Good morning. Nicole English from Public Works. So we're asking for an amendment to a current lease we already have with the Metro Parks to add another parcel, which is under the Main Avenue Bridge. Um, right now, there's, there's piers in the middle, and it's essentially just like a rubble lot. Um, and they are putting a trailhead for the Centennial Trail through that parcel, and so they will maintain it and um, use it for their trail. Okay, and uh, no county funds are going to be expended for the improvement. It's, it's going to be Metro Parks, correct? Correct. And I have a, if you want to see a figure... No, I, I, well, you can give it. I think this is pretty straightforward. Any questions from the committee? <laughs> yes. Is all, all we could get was a buck from them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Miller. Uh, do we receive any consideration? Uh, Money-wise? Yes. D just a dollar. Uh. It's, it's a nominal. It's just a partnership, really, um, as part of their trail project. This is the, uh, the trail project that the Cleveland Foundation had given them most of the funding for. So it's somewhat a public partnership with them. And, and it's a land that's going unused right now. And where it says right of first refusal, does that mean that if we ever decide to sell the property that they get the first option to buy it? Correct. Okay. So. Any other <laughs> questions? I, I, I'm sorry. I do have a question. What would the market rate be for that if we were to retail it, if we were to sell it. Well, we didn't appraise it, because it really is under the bridge, so we have to maintain the, the access to the bridge. <laughs> so I don't know that we would ever is it, really is it, sell it. Is there a market? I mean, is there even? I, I don't think for that lot. There is a parking lot right. on the other side of the street that we lease, um, but this one has the piers in the middle, and it's just it's sort of on an incline. I don't think you'd have much of a um, use for it besides this. Other than this. Yeah, I'm yeah. just curious. Could, you're right because it's probably that's a state state road mm -hmm. above it. Mm -hmm. So who, we but, or is it a who? So do we own the land? That the, yes, we, so own, we own the, the parcel. Land. I think because we built the bridge. Do you know the, why we own it? I think it's because we built the bridge back in the day. Is my okay. understanding, and so we still have the land on either side um, of the river. Are we? The bridge. Are, are we? I guess a lot. Of, are we precluded from selling that? Can can if we wanted to? Could we even because. It supports the land is where a bridge we own is, had you know is on. I am not familiar with this particular lease, okay. but you know the county can sell any property that we have. So I don't I don't know about this particular circumstance. Okay. But okay, thanks. So uh, as far as timing, what's the let's see here? What's the dates here? It's just effective upon approval. Um, I know the Metro Parks is looking to move forward with the trail project, so they would just like to know that we are, uh, since okay. they're in design, that we are moving forward on it. So I don't see there's any reason why we want to go three readings on this. This is pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. So I'll move for a second reading suspension to the full council. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion on this? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. 191, Janine. Resolution number 2016-0191, authorizing an amendment to contract number CE1300548 for lease of office space in the Marion Building, located at 1276 West 3rd Street, Cleveland. 
Uh, Mike Chambers of Public Works. We're asking for a uh, one-year renewal, which was part of the initial term when this was uh, originally sold. We had uh, two one-year renewals as part of the initial uh, RFP that went out. Uh, and it, it runs November 1st through October 31st. And this is for the Marion building. It has a year analysis, adult probation, and corrective planning board. It does represent a 10% increase. Once again, that was negotiated once the properties were sold originally three years ago. Uh, and we're asking for approval. Okay, questions from the committee? Yes. Mr. Miller? Uh, is there... <coughs> Is there another? Is there another year after this one, or, or would this end this contract? There is one. There is one more year after this available, and uh, and would that be at the same rate, or would there be an additional increase? That would be an additional ten percent, which was negotiated three years ago. And uh, can you give us any historical background as to why we negotiated such large increases? I'm a little stuck on that one. I know that was part of the initial sale plan. Um, obviously, there's a greater discussion at that whole area, and maybe that second renewal may not be a factor. We don't know. But for right now, that's what was determined when they sold the properties, and we agreed to it back then as a 10%. And uh, is, our, is it our intent to occupy the space on a long-term basis, or, or are we... Uh, intending to move the facilities that are currently located there to other locations? I do think we have a, an ongoing discussion of that general area, and I think once we come up with a game plan there, it'll help identify what we're going to do in this building. You know, it goes with the Justice Center and that whole complex. I'm, uh, if we're just continuing to rent space there, I'm wondering why we sold it in the first place. I don't have an answer for that one. Chair, if I remember, I believe this was part of the, the the buildings that were, you know, during the analysis was, you know, hold hold cell, mm -hmm. you know, and I think this was one of the ones that was determined. It's a, it's in a hor it's in horrible shape. It is. It's in a building just to sell, and if I remember, that was the recommendation. It was not a hold. It was a sell. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I believe you're correct. Mm -hmm. But just going back to what I, I don't know if my colleagues remember that as well, but I think this was one of those. Okay. Any other questions? I would ask, though, since it, it does uh, take effect November 1st, if there's any way we could possibly expedite it. Okay, any, any further questions? Do we have a motion for second reading suspension? How so moved? Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Any, any final questions? And let, let the record reflect that Councilwoman Simon is in attendance. Thank you. Okay, if there's no further questions, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Second reading suspension, that'll be on the 24th, Monday. Public comment? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, no one is signed in. Okay. Well, that concludes uh, our agenda. Is there any miscellaneous business? The meeting stands adjourned.